Hey everyone, this is Bremster, um, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called That's Three in the DNA by EPH. Um, I believe the title is because there's a three sitting in that corner, which is not a joke on my channel, but I understand it is a popular joke, so... Okay, um, haven't covered EPH on the channel before, um, so not sure what I'm in for here. Uh, I can see the, the DNA strand, so that's kind of cool. Um, testing has told me that this puzzle is quite hard, um, so I should uh, put a bit of extra time aside, so I've done that. Um, going on on the channel at the moment, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on on other playlists. Um, so I've been doing some D and D stuff for fun, which I've been recording and posting. Um, this channel was always going to be, it was originally going to be a, um, a board gaming and role playing channel, and then I got into puzzles during lockdown, and everything changed. So um, yeah it's just stuff that's happening um there's other stuff happening in that front but we'll see how it goes but i'm doing that to relax because at the moment i'm not getting a lot of relaxed time um what else um i've been sent a bunch of puzzles as kind of something to do as a video pack because of a special event that's coming up um, and that's a special event for me um, but people have created puzzles anonymously for me to do to celebrate the special event so um, I'm hoping to record a bunch of those over the next week um, and then Trickle release them um, as kind of a, a pack to be released in video form. So people who watch the channel will be able to get those puzzles and, and do them. Uh, they're all on a theme, um, uh, probably guessable. Um, and yeah, we'll see how all that goes. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I kind of want to jump in and try the puzzles, but I, I, do, should, I do need to do them on camera. So we'll see how all that works. Um, let's have a look at this one. That's Three in the DNA by EPH. I've not covered EPH before. I'm, I'm not sure how new EPH is or any of that it was possibly in the email, but I have missed all of that because I have, I set this one up yesterday and I haven't looked at it since. So anyway, um, how does this puzzle work? So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have green whisper lines. Uh, using this one as an example, adjacent digits on whisper lines must be at least five apart. Um, so that means that, for example, you can never put, the most obvious thing is you can never put five on a whisper line because five lower than five is zero or less, five higher than five is 10 or higher, none of which are valid Sudoku numbers. There are other constraints, but we'll get to those while solving, I'm sure. We have purple Renban lines and digits placed on purple Renban lines must be a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. So if I use this line, for example, if this was a one, then these would have to be two and three. So they were consecutive. They could not be, say, three, three and four, because one, three and four is not a consecutive run of digits. Um, and if this was an eight, then this would have to either be seven, nine or seven, six in order for them to be consecutive. Um, that's just the way it works. Digits in the bordered circle, uh, or so digits in the bordered square, this must be an even digit and the digit in the bordered circle must be odd. So probably disambiguator, see how it goes. Um, yeah. Let's uh, restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cell long Renban line. Now that means it's got to have, it's going to either be one through seven or nine down to three. So it's got three, four, five, six, and seven on it. Yes, it's got three, four, five, six, and seven on it. Three, three, four, five, six, seven with either one, two, eight, nine, or two, eight. I don't know that I can do much with that yet. And this one is the same. It's probably the whisper lines. Because one of the things about whisper lines is they must always alternate high-low polarity. And the reason for that is the five difference. You can never put five on it. But if you have a low digit, any digit that it were like one to four, any or a digit lower than five, any digit that is five digit between one and nine is going to leapfrog to five to something that is higher than five. And something higher than five is going to leapfrog back to lower. So you'll always alternate high-low polarity. So I don't know what they are, but these, I'm going to for now call them yellow, are going to be um, the, um, the opposite of these. So we're going to go either let's say high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, or low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low. Now, I don't know which is which. Uh, 
Oh, but that means that these are all yellow or five. So these are yellow or five. Oh, wait. These are all on the Ren band and they're all the same. So if these are all low, these are five, six, and seven. And if these are all high, these are five, four, and three. So this is the, hang on a minute. So these are all yellow and this is yellow. Sorry. And these, because I can't put another blue digit, these are all five or yellow, and that's five digits that are five or yellow. Those are all blue, which means these are low, and these are one, two, four. And that can't be a four, because if that was a four, the only thing that is five apart from four is nine, and both of those would have to be a nine. So blue is low. Now, can I do the same on this line? So let's use, I'm going to use green and purple because the the German whisper and green and purple are colors I find quite visible. And I've tried to pick German whisper lines and everything that don't actively conflict. Yeah, these are all the same, but I don't have, but I didn't use the three. These are all green or five, and these are green or five. So that is five digits in this box, which is green or five. So these are all purple and purple has to be high because I can't have six low digits. So purple is now yellow and green is now blue. So these are six, seven, eight, nine, and that can't be six because both of those would have to be one. These are now, but I could go further. These are one, two, three, four. I can't put four here. So four is in one of these two, but that means these are one, two, three, four on the rim band, and these are five, six, and seven. This is six, seven, eight, nine on the rim band. This can't be six because both of those can't be nine. Six is in one of those two. If six is in one of those two, that's a one. But if this is nine, eight, seven, six, these are five, four, and three. That's bonkers. That's really cool. And I love the way that DNA concept is actually used in the puzzle. So these are five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are five, six, seven, eight, nine. These can't be five. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. Can't put uh, can't put six there because those would both be one. So that's seven, eight, nine. This can't be six either. So this is seven, eight, nine. Because both of those would be one. Can I do the same trick down here? This is yellow. Because of the column, this is yellow or five. 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 These are all blue. So these are all, these are all one, two, three, four. There's no three in there. And there's no one or three there. This is two or four. So this is three. Which means these have to be eight and nine by whisper logic. There's no six, seven there. And there's no seven there. This is eight, nine. These are five, six, and seven. Three comes out of those. In fact, three has to go into one of those two by Sudoku, because this is high. Four is in one of those two, so that's a nine. And one of those two has to be a nine. The same as because of these sixes, one of those has to be a one. Hang on, this nine sees that. That's the eight. That's a nine. This is not a nine. This is a seven or an eight. So nine is in one of those two. So these are five, six, seven, and eight. So these are all five or yellow. Five has to be in here. Uh, 
and this is five, six, seven, or eight. So these are blue because I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are blue. These are one, two, and three and must contain a three. Of course, because these are five, six, and this is a five, six, or seven, and it's not a five. This is weird. I'm assuming all this is, this is replicable. This is one, two, or four. It's not one. So this is two or four. This is two, three, or four. How do I replicate this? Five... Five is in one of those three. Five. Ha where is five in this row? It's not here and it's not here. And it can't be here because I can't put it on a whisper line. Actually, could I do the same here? These are blue. This is These are blue or five. That's blue, that's blue, that's blue or five. So these are all yellow. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. That one's not an eight. This is a six, seven, eight, nine quadruple. So these are all blue or five. And this is blue or five, so those are yellow. This is nuts, which I could have got from the three, four, five here. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. So these are seven, eight, nine, because the six has to be in here for the column. So this is two, three, four, five. I've got pencil marks everywhere. One of these has to be a one because one of these is a six. Hang on. One of these has to be a four, but if that's a four, that would have to be a nine. That's not the four anymore. This is the four. This is a one, two pair, which works for that being seven or eight. Ah, this is weird. So this was just... moderately basic stuff up to here, but now I'm confuzzled. Like, this is under some pressure, though. Because I can't use 1 or 9 on it. Now, if this is, so what are the options for this? If this is two, three, four, both of those are five. So that can't, I can't put a two on this at all. Because if I put two on it, it's two, three, four. That means this is five and this is five. So there's no two on it. If I put three on this, I've got to go up because I can't use a two. So it's three, four, five, and that doesn't work. If I put four on this, it's four, five, six. And that seems okay. Five, six, seven doesn't work. Six, seven, eight makes both of those five. And I can't use nine. This is four, five, six. Which means that's not four or five. That's three. That's two. Five, six is not available. That's seven and that's eight. There's no seven or eight in here. This is a five, six pair. The seven here makes this eight. Oh, this is nuts. That's beautiful. So these are now four and five. And we know the order because of that four. That's five and that's four. These are now one and two. So these are all low. These are high. Hang on, the five jumps back making that six and that five. Hang on, is this a GSP puzzle? There's no six there anymore because of that six. So this is the six, which makes this the one, which makes this the two. There is no two here. 
2 has to be up here by Sudoku, so this is now a 2. This is a GSP puzzle. GSP is, um, I think it's girth symmetrical placement, which means if you take a grid and you rotate it 180 degrees along the central point, the digits that are on them, uh, or the digits, the, and you add the digits that are on the original grid followed by the rotation, they add to 10. So for example, that cell plus, uh, or maybe it's not. Oh no, it's that cell plus that cell sum to 10. That cell plus that cell sum to 10. That cell plus that cell sums to 10. That cell plus that cell sums to 10. That cell plus that cell, that cell plus that cell, that cell plus that cell, I'm assuming will sum to 10. Um, I'm not going to use that in the solve, but if I started filling this grid out with using GSP, I wouldn't be surprised if it works. Like this is an odd digit, so I can take six and eight out of there. This is seven or nine. So where is six in this column? Six is here which means there's no six in here. Where is six in this column? It is up here somewhere. This is really cool. I'm really glad I got some rest before solving this though. Okay. Ah, where is one in this box? One is in one of those two, so this is not a one. One is in one of those two, which means one is up here. Ah, this three knocks three out of both of those because I can't repeat three on the rem band. This is a four, five pair. This becomes a three, which means this can't be a seven because seven is too close to three. So this is eight or nine. These are one, four and five, which kind of makes sense. Because I've got ones pointing down. So one has to be in one of those. Now, could I do the same over here? Seven here means that I can't repeat seven on. This becomes a five, six pair. Five, six looks up making this seven, but that doesn't have the same restriction. It does take seven out of that. Well, I've used the pencil mark checker um, only for row, column, and box. I don't think it's helped me with any of the logic. And I am... Um, I do believe this is now using the version of the pencil mark checker that only checks for rows, columns, and boxes. It doesn't do any other logic. Not that I think there's much that it could detect on this grid, but I don't know. Um, so three, oh, three in this box. Where is three in this box? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are three, four, and five, and that three sees here. So this is a three, and this is a four or a five. So that three puts three somewhere in this row. And two is somewhere in this row. I don't have the same restriction down here because this is not as resolved. Like this three forced this to be a triple, but I don't have the same triple being forced down here. I do know three is in here. Eight is in one of those two. So eight is also up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And what about? Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, that's cool. No, I'm wrong. Am I wrong? These rows are under restriction because of this Ren band. Like, because I can't use four, five, six. These are from one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. 
but I can't use one, two, and three on here because I've only got two of them. And I can't do like three, four, five, or three, four, six, because four, five, and six are taken. So these have to be from one, two, three, and I can't get with just a single digit from like really low, one, two, three, to seven, eight, nine. So these have to be from the same of one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and I can't make them from one, two, three. So these are from seven, eight, nine and are high. And this is from one, two, three and is low. And I'm assuming it's the same down here. Yeah, if these were high. There's no way this could jump to the low digit. So these have to be low, one, two, three. And this has to be high, which is seven, eight, nine. Now, one, two, three means this is one, two, three, or four. It's not eight, and it's not two. So this is one, three, or four. It's not two because of that. And this has to be high, and it's not eight. So it can only be six. I can't do five because I can't put six on this. So this is six, seven, or nine. And it's not two. I said it's not two. What, what did I just do there? I think I just accidentally put a two in here. I meant to say that's not two. That's not doing much. So then must there be a two on this? If this is one, three, this is two. So there must be a two on here. So this is not two. So there must be a two here. So this is not two, which I could have got by just saying there's a two here. Is it the same with eight? If I don't put eight here, this is seven, nine, and this would have to be eight. So there is eight here. There is no eight here, which means there is an eight here, which means there's no eight here. 1 and 2, this still could be any of them. 1 and 2, this could be any of them. 2, 3, this is 8, 9. 1 of these is 7. These are. This is high, and this is low. One of these is three, one is five, and one is from six, seven, eight, or nine. If this is eight, these are high. They're from six, seven, and nine. I'd have to put six here. This would be one, which would mean this is not one. This would be from seven or nine, but this would be six, so this would be one. This would be seven, eight, seven or nine, eight with seven or nine. This has, wouldn't be three. So this is eight, this would be one or two. Well, this would be one, so this would be two. This would be four, this would be one. And it all looks okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nothing is forced into these three digits. One, two, three, four, five is in one of those two. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nothing else is forced in here. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's okay. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. That's all okay on that ram band. This is either one, two, three, or two, three, four. There must be a three on this ram band. But there's nothing that sees all of those cells except for those two. And that they can't be three. The same as there must be six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. There must be a seven on this ring band. But these are the only two cells that see all of that. Oh. So these two are either high or low. And I've already got too high and too low. The same is true down here, but I've got more information about the digits in this row because I've got three digits here and I've only got two down here. So what can I do up here? If these are low, they're one and four. 
So this would be four. So this can't be one. Because if this is one, this would be four, and both of those would be nine. So if this is one, this has to be low. The only low digit left is four, and I can't put four here. So this is not one. Okay. Does that do anything? Can I eliminate one from any of these? If this is one, and if this is one, this is four, this is nine, but that's similar to what I was doing down here. If this is one, the only low digit that could be is three. So I've got one, three. This is low, by the way. I've got one, and if this is one, this is three. These all become high, and these are from two, four, and five. And that doesn't work because that is a one, two, four, and that cell would have to be both two and four. So if this is one, this is three, all of those become high. This is two, that gives me all four highs in the box. These are two, four, and five. And where do I put the two and the four? Because I can't put either of them there. That becomes both two and four, and I'm busted. That's not the one. This is the one. These are all low. Oh, that's nuts. This has to be four. It's the only low that's left, making this five and this four. The five looks down, meaning this is a five, one, four pair. This is a five, but great. These are all low. But what do I do here? This is a four, so this is a nine, taking nine out of those. There's no four here either. This, These are both high, which means this is not three. This is six, seven, or eight. So nine is over here and not here. Nine is not here either. This is the nine, which is high. This is the five, so this is high, which means it's six, which means this is eight, and there's no eight in those. This is a six, that's a six, seven pair. That's the six. I can take the eight out of there. This is a seven, nine pair. This is eight. There's no eight there. Now this six is looking back. This is not six. In fact, six is in one of these two. Why have I got, oh, this six has made this five, which means this is high. Actually, this is low and it can't be one, three or four. This is two. This is not the two. This is a six, seven pair. This being a six, seven pair for the row makes this eight. And these are one, two, th three, and five. They are just three and five. The eight looks down, taking eight out of there. Eight had to be in one of those two. So that's the eight. Now this is either six, seven, eight or seven, eight, nine. Not sure, but there's no eight there anymore. This is the eight. Five is looking down, making that six. Six and where was the five? Oh, the five make this seven. Six and seven make this five. Six and seven are both high. So this is now a low digit. This is a high digit. I've got all the highs. I've got the five. So this is one, three, or four, and it's not one. This is three or four and is low. Now, this is high. So both of these are high. And I already looked at this. One of them has to be six, and I can't put six there, or both of those are one. So this is six. This is one, which takes one out of both of those. This six takes six out of there. Now, this is seven or nine. One is low. Now this one looks over making this four, which looks back one and four makes this two, which makes this four, which makes this one. The four looks up taking four out of there. This is a one, two, one, two pair. So this is the four. Oh, this is very cool. The three, four pair looks over making this one. Now this is a triple, no, it's not a triple, but that and that are the same digit. But this is low, and it has to be two. It's the only low digit I've got left. So that is two, and these are one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. I don't know which, though. That nine is looking down, taking nine out of there. So this two is looking up, taking two out of there. This gives me a one, three pair, which means this is a two. Now, this could be two, three, four, or one, two, three. I'm not sure. 
But there has to be a three in here. Yeah, it's not it though. There has to be a three in here and a three in here, but that's not putting any pressure on the boxes. Or if it is, I'm not seeing how. One and two can go next to seven or nine. Is there any other whisper logic I've missed? Really cool stuff, but this is six, seven, eight. Sixes in here, sixes in here. This is nine. This is seven. This is seven. This is seven. This is seven. This is nine. Hang on, that's a seven nine pair. That's just an eight. GSP is telling me I've missed something. Like there's a symmetrical piece of logic I've missed. Like why can't I color this whole grid? Oh, there's a 1-3 pair here. This is a 5. So this is a 3. The 5 looks down making this 6, which means there's no 6 here. The 3 looks down making this 4, which makes this 3. But 2 and 4 uh, need an odd digit between them. So that becomes the 3, which makes this the 1. And now the whole thing's going to collapse. Because the 4 looks up making this 5 and 4. Um, the 6 looks up making this 7 and this 6. Uh, this column, that five looks down making this seven. Um, the seven makes this nine, which makes this five. The nine looks across making this seven and nine. Um, not sure yet. The one looks across taking one out of those. So this becomes two and three and one. The one looks up making this two and one. Now I've got these seven nines, but again, it is, let's do some coloring. Um, so that is high, that is high. These are low, and I think I've got all the coloring now, but this is a 6, 8 on a whisper line, and I need to connect them. So this becomes 7, so this becomes 9. 7 looks across making this 9 and this 7. That looks up making this 9 and this 7, and that is, that's 3 in the DNA. The interaction of those whisper lines and Renbang lines, really stunningly good. And like the beautiful way that these forced all of the digits of the same like high low onto the the ren band. So these had to be either three, four, five, or four, five, six. This three force giving you the high low, repeating it over here and then discovering this here and therefore giving you the high low on all of them. Getting the pressure in here by this and uh, here, and then forcing it in here, and then forcing this four, five, six, which means that with the pressure that you got from here, meaning that you didn't have enough high digits here or low digits here, and then all the pressure that put back. And I think my favorite deduction was this couldn't be a one because this would be a four. That was easy. But if this was a one, this had to be two and four. That was really cool. And it really all, I mean, it is a GSP puzzle, I think. Three, uh, no, it's not. Wow. So I'm glad I didn't rely on it. It is in a lot of cases, but that is not the same as that. It makes me worry I've got it wrong. But there's something that causes this to not be. Eight and one, six and two. But it is in a lot of places. I, I hope I haven't got this wrong. And the solution checker said it was correct. Yeah, this is the correct solution. So I'm glad I didn't rely on it. 
8228191946. So it's just in these boxes. But the way this three breaks it open, really cool EPH. That was, and it's a beautiful design grid as well. I don't know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail, but it's probably going to be fairly predictable. Thank you everyone for watching. That was really, really cool. Um, yeah. And yeah, hope you're enjoying the channel. Um, yeah. Hope the, the, the set of puzzles that's coming up, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and I hope you enjoy the, the stuff that's been set specifically for the channel. I, I thank everyone involved. I kind of, I know who's been sending them through, but I do not know the people who've been involved in creating them. I know that there's, I think there's like 10 or 11 people involved in making these puzzles and they're all doing it anonymously. And to whoever you are, thank you. Um, but I'll thank you again when I actually solve the videos. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the content and as always, good luck with your solving.